Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations Halloween. Today is my favorite little ladies from Hocus Pocus. I love that movie. Using three of these amazing little signs from Dollar Tree. No painting involved. This first one is going to be the easiest. I printed off a few of my favorite sayings from the movie and I am just going to attach them with the clips that are already on these little wooden signs and just put a little dollop of hot glue at the bottom to secure them but that can be easily removed if you want to change this up for another holiday. So I get inspiration as everyone else does while I'm crafting. This is all I was going to do. Then it came to me, let's give these some color and really personalize them for each witch. The problem is the sayings that I picked out, actually one of, two of them work perfect but I lit the black flame candle we all know <laughs> wasn't Mary. <laughs> But I already had it printed out and glued down. So you guys, if you want to make this authentic, <laughs> find a Mary quote to put on the black one. But as you can see, I just made a couple of bows and cut the ends of the bow so that they would be um, open bows. And of course, the orange is Winnie and the yellow is Sarah and black is Mary. And how cute are these? These would be so cute on a tear tray or on a shelf and they go really well with the next two DIYs that I'm gonna show you next. So DIY number two, this one is fun. This is using the same yarn that I used. And one of those came from, Do the orange came from Dollar Tree and I think the yellow and the black came from Walmart. The picks with the witch hats came from Dollar Tree and the cloche, the plastic cloche with the base, also you can find at Dollar Tree. So this is a really inexpensive little craft. I'm going to apologize ahead of time because I must have just been having so much fun doing these projects that I forgot I was in front of a camera. <laughs> so parts of this project I kept pulling away and, and not really showing you guys, but I'm going to walk you through it by telling you, okay? So let me apologize ahead of time. I'm so sorry. I try to keep my hands in front of that camera, but sometimes you just get involved with what you're doing and you forget. So you're going to want to make tassels and as thick as you want. Now my black yarn is much, much thicker than my yellow yarn and extremely thicker than the orange. <laughs> so of course, like the black tassel, um, I didn't wrap it around as many times because it's very thick yarn. So you just wrap it around your hand and take another piece and see, there I go again, and tie it around the head. And then you're gonna, that'll be the top and then you're going to tie another piece down lower and that'll be your head and then you just cut the bottom off and cut all your little loops and that makes a tassel and then you can trim it down to size i always when i'm wrapping it around i always tie a piece to the top because that keeps the top together then you come back in with the next piece around a little lower to make the head of the tassel so this is our black one and can you guess what the other two are going to be <laughs> so we are going to make this cloche with hanging tassels representing each witch and so much fun and i think it's kind of unique i haven't seen this anywhere else and it came out so cute and so of course the first one was mary and now we did Sarah, and now I'm working on Winnie. So I have the same yarn, the orange, the yellow, and the black. And once I have my tassels done, I take my hats, 
And in any picture you see of Hocus Pocus, Winnie's always in the middle with Sarah and Mary on either side. So I thought I would take the hats and glue um, two kind of kitty corner and then we're going to put the orange one in the middle. Now I know that these don't necessarily color wise represent them but the tassels do and anybody who looks at it would know what this is. Um, Dollar Tree only sells these colors and I wasn't going to try to paint it and ruin it because these witch hats are super cute. So we got our hats glued to the cloche. Now I'm gonna take the tassels, I'm gonna add some hot glue, and we're gonna start with Winnie because Winnie's going in the middle. So you just hot glue Winnie right to the top of your cloche. Then I took Sarah and I put hot glue on the side of the top of the tassel, and I'm gonna glue that to one side of the cloche. And then do the same thing with Mary. So you can see Sarah's hanging down on the side, Winnie's in the middle. Now we're gonna put hot glue on the side of the black tassel and hot glue that inside of the cloche on the other side of Winnie's tassel. And then when you're done, you have the hats on the outside of the cloche and you have all three witches hanging in the center. And I just think this is so cute. It's so hard to think of new ideas for Hocus Pocus because so many great ideas are already out there. So I thought this was different and something for Hocus Pocus themed tear tray that you probably don't see every day. And here it is. And I forgot to mention that too will fit on the top of a tray. So DIY number three, and this one is my absolute favorite. Using these pumpkin plaques that you can get from Dollar Tree, I grabbed a cream, an orange, and a yellow. Dollar Tree also sells these amazing witch hats. So I took three of them and painted them on one side black. Now, of course, you guys know what I'm doing here. I chose these colors because yellow is for Sarah, orange is for Winnie, and Mary is going to be cream because Mary's hair is black. And I couldn't do black hair on a black sign. <laughs> so this is my first attempt at this. And I'm showing it to you because it, it was a little kind of a train wreck. I was learning how I wanted to do this. I wasn't quite sure. So the next attempt I did was off camera. I did Winnie off camera to perfect this so that when I came back to do Mary, I could show you exactly the easier way to do this. And if you haven't guessed, I am making wooden gnome signs representing each witch. These are my absolute favorites. I love Hocus Pocus. I love gnomes. <laughs> I love wooden signs. <laughs> so to put all three of these together is just perfection. So once you have the hair wrapped around, you're just going to hot glue that hat crooked. Because again, <clears throat> when I'm so sorry, when they're all together, you're going to want Mary and Sarah's hat to be crooked. I ordered these half um, beads from Amazon. I'll put that link below if you're interested and they're the smaller bead and that is perfect for the nose. So there's Winnie that I did off camera. Look how cute it looks with the sign from the first DIY. So now we're gonna do Mary. So take your sign, take your yarn and pull a whole bunch of your yarn out. Make it easy for you. Now I did add a little bit of hot glue to the back of the sign and I added a little bit of hot glue to the top. 
and that just kind of kept the yarn in place as I'm wrapping it around the wooden pumpkin and how many times you wrap around is up to you it's also based on how thick your yarn is too if you have really thin yarn you're probably going to want to do a lot more wraps than if you have super thick yarn so once you have it the way you want it cut it off and this is so much easier than the first one <laughs> because it's in place and i didn't um have to lift up and put i put hot glue under it was just yeah it was a learning experience so once i had this the way i wanted it i flipped it over and i added some hot glue going across the top and then i added a piece of masking tape down on top of the hot glue to hold this in place um this worked really well. It held it in place. It hasn't moved. It also makes it a lot easier to trim. Now, the first one, when I was doing Sarah, I cut in front of the sign, and it kind of left a couple scissor marks. Um, I wish I would have cut the, at the bottom so that if I did, or like I'm doing here, cut the back of it, <laughs> not the front. <laughs> So once you cut the back, you're left with your really long yarn in front and just take the other sign. I tried to keep these all the same length. So I would use my fingers and really come down, kind of comb this so it's flat. And then I took another sign and laid it next to it and then eyeballed where to cut the hair so that they were all kind of the same length. Um, hair on each gnome and these are so cute oh my gosh hocus pocus gnomes <laughs> i love it <laughs> these will probably be my favorite for uh, many many years once i had her hair um cut you can trim it because you do get some straggly little yarns so you can just trim it down a little bit i flipped it over in my hand keep trying to keep it flat and I just added just a little bit of hot glue to the back of the, or actually to the front. And then I flipped the hair over. Not all the hair will stick from the hot glue and that's perfectly okay, but you get a nice little layer of it sticking and then it doesn't, you don't see the sign through it. So again, um, I'm gonna do her hat kitty corner but this time I grabbed one of these little cubes from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that to secure the hat better. So I added some hot glue to the side of the pumpkin stick, to the back of the hat, and to the top of the pumpkin. And I just put one of those cubes in there to secure the hat better. That way it's not just glued to the yarn. Now Winnie's hat I put on perfectly straight. Again, I kitty cornered Mary's and Sarah's because they'll be standing on either side of her. To finish the gnome off, I added that half bead as a nose. And look how cute these guys are. <laughs> oh my goodness. They look amazing with their little counter signs that we made in the first DIY. And they look super cute on a tray with the cloche as well. Now I'm not going to show you a tray because I haven't decorated for Halloween yet. And I have other Hocus Pocus stuff that I would like to put on a tiered tray. So you're going to have to wait for that video. Now these hats did have holes in the top of them and that hole was driving me crazy. So to finish it off, I just made little bows and I tied a black bow, an orange bow, and a yellow bow and put them on each of the witches' hats to coincide with the color of their hair. And that was it. My little Hocus Pocus, Winnie, Sarah, and Mary gnomes are done. What's great about this is they stand up straight and you can style these so many different ways. I am going to be doing a home tour once I decorate for Halloween. I can't wait to show you guys. And I am going to be doing a Hocus Pocus themed tiered tray. And I will show you then what it looks like. <laughs> So until then, I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful week. I love y'all so much. If you're new to my channel, consider 
sticking around for another video. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications. If you would like to see some of the materials I use, that is in the description box below. And I hope you guys are just having an amazing, wonderful week. And I will see you all I don't know when I'm posting this, either Sunday or Wednesday. <laughs> Have a blessed and wonderful week, guys. Love you. Bye, y'all.